Well, a looming railway worker strike could mean more shortages of food and goods and even higher inflation. Now, the situation is already leaving some train passengers stranded. Our consumer reporter Heather Sullivan live tonight with more on this. Heather. We got some good news today. A railway workers union agreed to postpone this possible strike from this Friday to September 29th, but they rejected uh, a contract offer that included a 24% pay raise because it still didn't resolve some scheduling issues. And if the two sides can't reach an agreement, this potential strike could be catastrophic for our economy. Many of the country's freight trains could be halted, along with the food and goods they carry, if up to tens of thousands of railway workers strike. We're talking about a huge piece of the supply chain linkage if there is a rail strike, particularly, I mean, it would be disruptive billions of dollars a day. 30% of food and goods in the U.S. are transported by train. It would affect a lot of things, produce, food, everything we import, everything we export. The August inflation rate continued above 8%, sending Wall Street plummeting Tuesday. A strike could make shortages and inflation even worse. We've all been warned already that do your Christmas shopping early this year because you don't know what's, what kind of disruptions you're going to have in November or early December. Lawmakers may pass a bill to enact a new contract to keep the rails running, and the White House is asking ships and truckers to keep goods moving. However, it would take 460,000 trucks, um, I've read, um, to replace the railroads, and we're already short 80,000 drivers in this country. So and then we also have to remember the longshoremen are still operating without a contract along the whole West Coast. And Amtrak passenger trains, which travel on 21,000 miles of tracks owned by freight train companies, has already suspended some routes, including parts of the Texas Eagle route between L.A. and San Antonio. Could be catastrophic for us commuters. I'm scared. Hopefully it won't happen. And consumers need to prepare for even more pain. The Fed will meet again September 21st and is expected to raise interest rates again. That means higher rates on credit cards and loans. Heather Sullivan, Fox 26 News.